Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Kutra, but most of you guys can call me Jordan. That is my IRL name, as James wouldn't want me to put it. And over the next few weeks, we are going to be learning how to make machinima with UDK. And what UDK is, is it's the Unreal Development Kit, and this is used for game development with the Unreal Engine 3. Now the Unreal Engine 3 boasts a lot of games that you would know of, so it's even if you haven't heard of the name Unreal, you've definitely heard of some of these games such as, let's see, I have a list pulled up. Batman Arkham Asylum, Bioshock, Borderlands, Bulletstorm, all the Gears of War, Frontlines Feel of War. That was a bad game. I'm sorry. That was a bad game. I didn't even know that was Unreal. Uh, let's see, Mass Effects, all the Mass Effects. Oh, it looks like Medal of Honor Airborne was. I didn't know that. Mirror's Edge. A lot of them I didn't even know. But yeah, the, just a lot of games used in the Unreal Engine 3. It's actually great. And what Unreal Engine 3 is, is it's made by Epic Games a couple years back. And what it is, is that it's an easy way for game developers to make their own games without having to code an engine from scratch. And that's really great because that's it's really resource intensive to make one. So all they have to do is, you know, pay the licensing fee and they'll have access to the full source code and they can make alterations and different things to the engine that'll make it their own. All they have to do then is make content and plug it into the engine and they're good. So yeah, that's that's great for them and as you can see who's it for. It says game developers here. And then if you look down here it says machinima directors, which brings us on to machinima. If you don't know what machinima is, it is using any kind of game engine or 3D rendering engine, real time of course, to make a film. So it's pretty much a cheap way of filmmaking if you want to put it that way. That's what I like to say because it doesn't require all the resources and you can usually do it by yourself. So it's uh, it's pretty easy. And let's see, what we're going to be covering is, let, let me just go ahead and go over a couple things. First of all, I'm going to be covering all this stuff as far as machinima is concerned. This is not for making game efficient maps. This is not for doing anything to make a game. I'm just going to be going over everything including the interface for machinima purposes. If you really want to make a game with this and you want to know everything about Unreal, I would go to the 3D Buzz video tutorials and they go over everything super in depth. I mean, it's not, once you go through them all, they're not all in depth, but they're basic and they're really good. And they just cover everything pretty much. So I would go and watch those if you really want to get into this. There's, I'm going to warn you now, there's 156 videos about. So if you want to sit down and watch that many videos, that's pretty much the main reason why I'm making this these tutorials is because if you want to just make machinima all you have to do is go through mine and you'll know how compared to going through 156 like I did just to make machinima so it's good just to watch mine because it's just a basic way of getting into machinima without having to wade through stuff you're not gonna need so I'll put the link in the description for these if you're really interested and you can go watch them of course come back here if you want because I'm gonna show you stuff they didn't show you <laughs> yeah, so uh, let's see what we're going to be going over is of course I said the interface we'll go over set building which is map building and then the kismet matinee particle systems flares just a, a lot of different stuff that takes to make machinima so we'll go over all that and so now if you're interested and you don't have UDK and you want to follow along, I'd, I'd highly recommend it. It'll be pretty fun. You just come to the UDK site. It's UDK.com. And you go up to the top right corner and hit click, click, hit, I don't know, just hit it. Hit your screen. Just smash it. Uh, okay, never mind. Don't do that. I'm not responsible for any smash monitors. But hit the download UDK button. It's blue. And it's in the top right corner. And it'll bring you to this page where you can download the latest release. First, before you do this, of course, I'd check your PC specs to make sure your computer can run it. And then I'd check to run the December UDK beta. And download it and install it. And if you're having problems with it, I recommend checking out previous versions. I started all the way back all the way back in March when it was first released. Well, no, February, January. What the? December. Oh, it was in November 2009. I remember that. That was a long time ago. 
Maybe it was in March. I can't remember. Oh, well. So get your version downloaded and installed. And what we can do is then I'm going to... Oh, yeah. One more thing. Before we start, I'm going to just warn everybody that these sessions, these little mini videos are going to be short because I want to keep these in 1080p and my internet is not super. And I just want to keep render and upload times down just so you guys can see it in 1080p so you can see every little detail on my screen which would probably be for the best so I'm just gonna end the video now and then we'll get started as soon as we get back just get it installed get it booted up and I will meet you in UDK